Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to this channel. In this video today, we are going to discuss about Kubernetes and how much Kubernetes is required to be a Java developer. In this full playlist, we are going to discuss about the full concepts which are required for a Java developer to be good at Kubernetes. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what is the definition of a Kubernetes. So I'm assuming if you are watching this video, you should have the basic knowledge of container tools like Docker. So if you are good at Docker, then get good to go and watch this video. If you want to meet to create a playlist on Docker, you can comment. Okay. So first of all, what is a Kubernetes? Is a Kubernetes is basically a container orchestration tool. What does it mean? Is in this video you can see that suppose we having an application app. Okay. So we having an application named as app. What we do is we created its containers using a tools like Docker. So what we do? We just just created the containers for this our application. What Kubernetes do is is it is used to run multiple containers and managing multiple containers on a cluster. This overall thing will be your cluster. We will be discussing in more detail in next videos. In this video, I'm just in, just giving you a basic idea of what is a Kubernetes is. So this is our cluster, as you can see. This box which I draw. This is our app. If you are a Java developer, you usually know that we use the jar file to run our applications on server. What we nowadays what we do is we created containers inside which our jar file will be running. So this is our app C1, app container one, app C2, app container two, and this is app C3, app container three. What Kubernetes do is it basically orchestrates these containers, means it manages the containers according to the requirement. Kubernetes increases the number of containers on the cluster according to the requirement. It reduces the number of Nodes, or you can say containers on the cluster. For example, uh, if you are a Netflix user, suppose two people are watching the movie. According to the requirement, if they are using the Kubernetes, the two containers will be running and live. Suppose two more people are watching that movie. In order to distribute the load in a sincerely way, what the Kubernetes will do? It will live the two more containers. Suppose if only one people is watching and other three left the movie. What is the requirement of other three containers? So it automatically or by manually using the command line tools, it reduces the number of ports or you can say number of containers on the cluster. So what is a port? What is a service? We will be discussing in next videos. In this video, I am just giving you an example of what Kubernetes is. A Kubernetes is simply definition is very simple. It is a container orchestration tool. Basically, we manages it manages our application. Which are running under containers. We have multiple containers, as you can see. We have in the app container one, app container two, and app container three. It manages them. It also do the work of load balancing. Suppose if 40% memory of it is occupied, and 100% memories of these two containers are occupied, and user is requesting for the services. So to which container it will redirect the request to that container where there are Resources present. There are more number of resources present, so it also do the load balancing. So, what's the simple definition of Kubernetes? Is it is a tool which is managing how much number of containers or applications are required, services are required. If there are lesser number of required, it will downgrade the number of containers. If there are more number of services are required, it will upgrade the number of containers. That's what a Kubernetes is. Let's understand how much Kubernetes we should know as a Java developer to be good in a market. First of all, you should know how to write the Kubernetes scripts like manifest file in in a code like we like the instructions in order to tell what to do. Simply in a Kubernetes, how many containers we have to run, which container we have to run, how many replica sets we have to create to understand all these things. We will be going in next videos, but you just having a basic understanding of YAML file. So make sure you have an understanding of YAML how to write it. So I hope you understand what is a Kubernetes is. And we will be starting with the basic, very basic components of Kubernetes in our next video. Make sure if you are new at if, to our channel, subscribe our channel. We are going to create more stuff like that. Bye bye.